welcome to On The Chain. Hey, so, so Chip, check this out. You know, we've been talking and referencing and thinking and discussing when, oh, when is uh, this uh, executive, <laughs> the executive order coming? And so we look at it, say, well, let's see. It's interesting how they have to say, you know, both President Barack Obama and the previous administration, well, you can't, can't say previous in Trump, the Trump administration, well, you know, so uh, issued step. executive orders related to digital assets. Did they, you know, and so we got to go through and look at. Oh, Jeff, exactly you get, this is what so good. Did. You just got to read this. This is the, it's so. It's it's crazy, right? So the White House will reportedly be issuing executive orders early as next week, directing government. Aid. So here's here's the thing. They're going to <laughs> directing government agencies to study. Let's highlight, <laughs> let's highlight study different aspects of the digital asset space with the goal of with the goal of creating a comprehensive regulatory framework. So are they? going to create a comprehensive regulatory framework or are they passing an executive order so they can study with the intent that at some future date they can then create a comprehensive regulatory framework well, no what he, what they're doing here jeff is something very it's very obvious but what he's what they're doing so they issue an executive order the executive order says the cftc along with the sec guys get together and figure out the framework sorry uh, uh i hate to tell you but this has nothing to do with the agencies, the agencies only can enforce what Congress passes. This is right. Congress. This is the job of Congress. And so what they want to come out of this is, hey, we should do this. We should have tons of enforcement pillars, says Gary Gensler. And CFTC says, oh, we agree. And then they go and say, well, let's make this into a bill. And then they pass. And then they try to pass. You see what I'm saying? They're taking the backdoor approach to legislation. And that's gonna. this is such a failure before it even started, which is why I believe this was delayed which is why all this other nonsense is going on. But this is DOA, Jeff, dead on arrival. They've they got nothing, nothing. It's, you know, it, it makes the, it's not that it's not that it's not the agency's responsibility to God, craft legislation. Exactly. They don't do legislation. Well, thank God this has got no teeth so far based on what they're reporting, because it could get heck of a lot worse and then it could disrupt and then they'll be tied up in courts. And then the courts will come out and say, well, that executive order was illegal. And, you know, now we got to undo it, but now people have had to adhere to it, you know, until the lawsuits are settled. It's like a whole mess could ensue. But here you see, look, would provide an evaluation of, on the infrastructure needed for the U.S. to support a digital dollar. So they, they obviously want to look at that. Yeah, they want to re uh, reportedly plan to issue a report to the U.S. Uh, president or a distributed ledger on a distributed ledger technology within 180 days with an, uh, an update expected on its environmental impact in 545 days. Interesting. Uh, the oh. whole thing is, you know, I mean, it could be a lot, a lot worse, you know, as you go through it. So, you know, so far, you know, we can say, remember, well. Remember, Jeff, remember one thing, when, the, when, the, when Clayton dropped that lawsuit, one of the things that you and I talked about is it might be the fastest way to legislation than we've ever thought about. And it still looks like it potentially could be that something we get a ruling out of this whole thing and a lot faster than government in Congress is going to act. And now they're going to do this. This is just nonsense. Yeah. And, 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 you know, then they try to reference it. And obviously, we remember in, in 18. Uh, Trump issued an executive order banning U.S. residents from engaging in transactions of any digital currency, digital coin, or digital token released by the Venezuela government. That's when they tried to release what was it called the uh, the Petro or something like yeah. that. And oh, there it is. It says it right there, <laughs> the Petro token, which was also and that was not anywhere near decentralized because it was a fraud. Um, and yeah, had and, no and they didn't want to buy it in Venezuela. Well, turns out. <laughs> It just kind of <laughs> died out real quick. And then they tried to get all sorts of countries to pay with it. And they were going to give them discounted gas. It was it was such a disaster. I mean, oh, my it's God. horrendous. So Kay Hud says, I hate government. I hate hypocrites, hypocrite politicians and everything that controls us. And I think, Kay Hud, you are not alone. I think a lot of people feel frustrated, especially when the whole idea is a represent, re representative government. 
And that's why I think the DAO is a really sort of a brilliant idea. There might be some refinements to it, but the whole idea is that you don't need a representative anymore. Back, you go 200 years ago, you weren't going to send all the people uh, from your state to go to Washington. You send a representative. You send two, two you, you know, there's two Congress, uh, two, two senators from every state. You get a hundred, and then you've got the other. What is it? What are the other members of the house? How many is it? Because it changes based on, on the, um, you know, census based on yeah. representation of people, you know, and districting and all that. And that's it. They go to Washington, but now it's like we don't. With decentralization coming on so strong, five hundred thirty-five members want. of Congress. Five eighty-five. There's a hundred. Well, total Congress. So you have a hundred, right. obviously, in Senate. So there's four hundred and thirty-five. Uh, reps in the house right gotcha. now. Gotcha. Yeah. So there you go. So five. Think about that. A population of 330 million people live in the U.S. Got 535 people representing, and they're mostly representing lobbyists and their own personal gain because they go there with not a bucket to you know in. And next thing you know, they walk away. And they're like, man, I'll just pay dirt. Made everyone else money. It's awesome. So right. it's incredible, man. And, and then can't put this one up. up. There you go. Yeah. Good. Limited time periods. Yes, we do. Now. Definitely need to uh, put some term limits. limits. Term limits. Term limits for sure. Both the House and the, the House Senate. House. So, so for those outside the U.S., the the uh, Congress they're voted in every uh, every two years and Senate every six years. So essentially, if you're running uh, for Congress, um, as soon as you uh, get elected. You have a little bit of a hiatus. You get right re regulated to uh, what you're doing over there in D.C. for a few weeks. Then you start running for Congress for <laughs> for Congress. Again. And, <laughs> right. you know, you got the next two years basically spending time uh, trying to figure out how you're going to get reelected to hold on to it. <laughs> it's, it seems to be the uh, going appeal there, Jeff. Listen, there's 589 in Congress. <laughs> Hello, I like 589. That. <laughs> Maybe if there was 580 now, we'd be much better off. I don't know. Would be better off. It's hard to say, really. I mean, it really is kind of difficult to say. <laughs> what are you laughing at? The comments? You got to put them up there if you're going to laugh at them. Uh, it's, it's crazy. Anyhow, this is insane. And here's this is a good comment here. Lord of the Flies is a great book <laughs> about the basics <laughs> of government. You know, so it Human is. Human nature. And you've seen Unfortunately, you're seeing it come to fruition um, in in actual government. <laughs> if you say, hey, you know, we actually have a government here. We have people voting for you and you think it would be some sort of uh, civil uh, discourse. But you see what's going on in Canada. You see what's going on in the U.S. and happening in other countries around the world. <laughs> so if Lord of the Flies isn't in your uh, in your uh, political uh, uh, space yet, it will be soon. Yeah, that in 1984 pretty much kind of sums it up. Animal exactly. Farm is another one. I mean, you know, coming it's, a parliament near you. Yeah, I mean, Animal Farm, I think, was the original, the whole study of the really more humans, but yeah, politicians and, you know, how do you govern yourself? And this is what always happens. Here's why these reality shows. They say, like, oh, we're going to create a new form of government. And then it basically decays into total chaos and, and starts leaning towards dictatorship, right? And, you know, the original founding of the U.S., a lot of people don't really know the, the you know the original stories when the first settlers got here. They're like, we're going to do everything fair. We're going to distribute the land evenly. We're going to split up the things and it's all going to be fair and even and everything else. And it was like a commune. Everyone's like, that sounds like the greatest thing. But then they ran into a problem pretty early on, which was 80 percent of the uh, activity and work and forwarding the whole idea of the colony came from the top 20 percent. The other 80% were laying low. Uh, they were doing, you know, the 20% were doing 80% of the work. And next thing you know, it turned on to total chaos. And so they said, okay, you work your land. You know, you, you, there's no more free lunch. You're not going to get stuff given to you. We're not going to, the people that are working in farming aren't going to just deliver it to your door. It's up to you. You guys want to barter? Cool, but that's it. And all of a sudden, Jeff, things started working. Colonies started being built. But that was the first real look at, this whole idea of you know communism which uh everybody is equal and there's nobody better except for the elites but uh you know the whole idea is we're all the same jeff everything's gonna be cool and doesn't mm. matter work that way
Are you down with OTC? Please like, subscribe and click the bell to be notified when the next video drops.